Well, tonight we're learning more about Heath Powers. He's the Plattsburgh defendant charged with production of child pornography. Turns out he was frequently in contact with children. WPTZ's Allison Carey joins us live with more on Heath Powers. George, over the past decade, Heath Powers has come into contact with a lot of children in the classroom, after school, and through camps during school vacations. Now, the FBI is not connecting any of those interactions to his current charges. However, we called many of his former employers and some others who did business with him for more information about his work with minors. Heath Powers faces federal charges for producing child pornography. Powers is accused of taking pictures of at least one child and sending those images over the Internet. The FBI is handling the case and has asked anyone with more information regarding Powers to call them. Shows them in contact. The 33-year-old's resume includes a number of jobs in which he had contact with kids. This is video of Powers from our archives. From February to April of this year, he worked for the Plattsburgh YMCA. According to the executive director of the Y, Kevin Colleen, Powers supervised about 20 kids he believes all of the kids enrolled were under 10 years old. It was part of an after-school program that was based at Cumberland Head Elementary. The school falls under the Beekmantown School District. We talked to the superintendent who tells us that Powers left the position. Shortly after leaving the program at Cumberland Head, Colleen says Powers left the YMCA completely. We checked with some local school districts to see if Powers worked, served as a substitute, or even volunteered at their schools. Off Sable Valley School District was the only school district that indicated he had worked there. They told us he was a substitute from 2005 to 2007 and that he worked mostly in the high school. Powers also was involved in youth theater camps centered around the North Country Cultural Center for the Arts. We attempted to get further comment from that group, but they declined pending the federal investigation into Powers. That is similar to the comment we received from the Red Cross, who also employed Powers at one time, and they continue to defer questions to the U.S. Attorney's Office. Again, none of the organizations that Powers was affiliated with are connected to the charges in this case. The FBI would like anyone with more information to call them at 1-800-CALL-FBI. Meantime, there is also an anonymous hotline for victims of sex crimes. That number is 866-689-HELP. I'm Allison Carey, WPTZ News Channel 5. And Allison, the Off Sable Valley School District, as well as the YMCA, tell us that they fingerprint and run background checks on people who interact with children. And according to those groups, Powers passed those checks. A background check for those who work with children is required by state law in New York and also in Vermont.